Today we're taking a look at the Kurt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with a four-pole flat trailer connector. This product fits certain gears of the Honda Odyssey, so to ensure that this is a fit for your vehicle, you can always use the vehicle fit guide at eTrailer.com. It provides a four-way flat connector at the back of your vehicle to power your trailer signal lights. This is compatible with five-pole, six-pole, and seven-pole adapters. Adapters are sold separately. And it comes with a dust cap for the four-way flat plug. That way you can cover up the connection points when it's not being used. Now all the wires run to this black box. This is the included taillight converter. This box ensures that your vehicle's wiring matches that of your trailers. So this powered module connects directly to the vehicle battery through the wiring, which avoids overloading your vehicle's electrical system. It's constructed using surface mount technology, which offers consistent, reliable performance. What that does is it maximizes the trailer light yield and intensity while producing minimal heat and ensures superior operation even in rough road conditions. Now this unit is designed to connect quickly and easily. All you need to do is locate the connection point in the rear cargo area and plug in this connector. It's a custom fit wiring harness for your vehicle, so this plug matches up perfectly with the ports on the vehicle and it snaps together for a nice, tight, secure fit. Once you have that plugged in, you will need to mount the converter box to a safe out-of-the-way location with the included double-sided adhesive foam tape. Then you'll need to insert the 10-amp fuse right here into the red fuse holder. It's got the cap that goes over to keep it safe and protected. And then you'll need to make a ground connection. Your ground wire is your white wire with a ring terminal attached to it. You can make the ground connection to an existing screw with nut in the vehicle frame, or you could use a self-tapping screw to make the ground connection as well. After you get that done, you'll need to install the 30 amp cartridge fuse in position 12, and the two 7.5 amp mini blade fuses in position 10 and 11 in the rear fuse panel. Then you can secure any excess or slack in your wiring with the included cable ties. And once your install is complete, the four-way connector is going to be stowed in an out-of-the-way location within your rear cargo area. Uh, plenty of wiring here. That way you can extend it out the rear hatch when you need to use it, roll it up, and tuck it away when you don't. It is recommended that you use a small amount of dielectric grease in all your electrical connections, like the plugs on the vehicle and the four-pole connector itself. That grease is specifically designed to help prevent corrosion to the connection points. It is sold separately and available at eTrailer.com. When it comes to the maximum amperage for the stop and turn lights, we're looking at 3 amps per circuit. For the tail lights, 6 amps per circuit. That's going to do it for today's look at the Kurt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with the 4-pole flat trailer connector.